Now that we've harvested and sorted oysters, it's time to learn how to shuck and, of course, eat them. But it's not as easy as it sounds. These guys are a little intimidating. John's going to give us a lesson on how to get inside here. Okay, Mary. So first, what you need, of course, is the right tool. Okay, so these are oyster knives. And they come in a few different patterns, but basically an oyster knife has a real stiff blade because you're going to be doing some twisting and torquing and a regular kitchen knife, a paring knife, will be, you can snap the blade and a point on it and a little bit of an edge on the side. A glove is a good idea. Okay. <laughs> With the sharp thing, yes, yeah. I want the glove. So, what also is help for home chefs um, is to have like a kitchen towel or something to put the oyster on because there's two basic ways to hold the oyster if you're going to shuck them. When I do this, because I do a lot of it, I hold them up in the air like this. So you can see if I slip, I'm going to go through my hand. Right. The other way to do it is you're going to hold it down on this okay. platform here and you're going to shuck it down here. So, here. so if I slip, it goes into the table. Yeah. Now, every oyster has a cup side and a flat side, okay, and a pointed end and a rounded end, okay? So if you look at this oyster, here's the cup and the flat side. So you want the cup side down, pointed end towards you. So that's where the hinge is. And then if you're looking down on the oyster, about two-thirds of the way on the right is going to be the muscle. So the first thing we need to do is get the hinge open. So you, what you want to do there is you want to get a good grip over the top of the oyster like that. Okay. okay? So, kind of put some... so now you're going to be pushing in with the knife at the same time you're kind of twisting back and forth. It's hard. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Okay, I'm now, in. now, I'm in. there you go. Now, <laughs> this is good because this is the classic mistake that a lot of people make. Because what you want to have is just the tip of the knife engaged. Because if you have that much of the knife blade in As I and do. you start to try to go to get the muscle, yeah. what you're winding up doing is taking that knife back and forth through the meat of the oyster and basically you make it look like scrambled eggs. And oh, it's not sure, very appetizing. Yeah. So when it happens, what you want to do is pull the tip out, go like that, and see, then you're going above everything. And that's really, really important. So again, I've got into the hinge here. Okay, and I'm going to press in a little bit, and I'm going to pop sideways, and see that I'm giving myself room now, and you can almost see the meat, and I'm reaching across for that muscle underneath that top shell, boop, just like that, and loosen that meat, okay, and the idea is you don't leave a lot of meat, I actually left a little bit on there, but you don't leave a lot of meat, and the only other thing to look for is like, the, on, see on this oyster, there's a little bit of shell on the outside, yeah. is to pull any shell fragments out, and now you can see the muscle here, and I'm going to go underneath, and loosen it, and it's all ready to go. That's it? That's it. Beautiful. So let's go with you here. Let's pull the tip back out, and pry, and pry up a little bit more this time. Pry down on the, uh, you know, just like this. There you go. Now, across. slice across. I think I'm making the scrambled eggs you spoke of. Mm, oh, I that. took a lot off. That. Well, that's not, still not too bad. You haven't, you didn't cut into the meat of the oyster. That's just the outer mantle of the oyster. So, again, that looks all nice and in place. Now turn the oyster sideways to get that muscle. Not too much force or having enough. Do you, you know, want to try enough. to leave the liquid? Like yes. So oh, the liquor, it's the water that the oyster keeps inside the shell to keep itself alive when it's out of the water. And it has to do with where the oyster is from. The salinity from one bay to another might be different. So, so as you're shucking, you have to be careful not to spill not it out. Not to spill it out, exactly. Yeah. So. And that's, why you, and that's why you display them on the cup side like this. And, and so the liquor's all in there. And that's a sign of a nice, fresh oyster that there's some liquor in there. So. Right. Well, we've done more than a dozen. Should we eat them? I think so. Twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get a squeeze of lemon. Okay. And uh, you know, I just put a little bit on that oyster there. All right, so I can just pick any. You pick any oyster there. Right. And pick your oyster up, your victim up. So again, with the hinge this way, this is a nice little trick. Um, you want to hold the oyster with your, your thumb and your middle finger and keep your index finger free because that's going to be your little push the push out oh. off the lip of the oyster. So then you're going to take it up to your mouth. Yeah. And there you go. Mm. Shove <laughs> over the right shoulder. There you go. I got it. Success. Yeah.